afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark Rollins. I'm an attorney here in Washington, D.C. I'm also licensed in the state of Maryland. Today, we're going to be talking about what you should do after being charged with DUI, OWI, or, or DWI. Um, if you've been stopped in D.C. and you've been charged, and now you're home, and now you're questioning what you should do. Well, I guess the first and foremost thing you should do is probably contact a lawyer, um, and that's the best thing you can do. But what I want to discuss is if you don't do anything and you're, you're still nervous, what I want you to do right now is I want you to at least request a hearing with DMV. If your license is in D.C., you have to request that hearing within 10 days. And I'm not talking about the court date. That's that, not going to D.C. Superior Court. What I'm talking about is requesting a hearing before the Department of Motor Vehicles. You have 10 days to make that request if you live in D.C. You have 15 days to make that request if you live outside of D.C. Now, <clears throat> that request for that hearing, all it's going to do is that your license will not be suspended or revoked while the case is pending in D.C. Superior Court. Because remember, you've only been charged with DUI. You haven't been convicted of it. Um, but if you fail to request that hearing, then D.C. will just assume that you're not contesting it, and therefore they will suspend your driver's license in D.C., regardless of whether you've been convicted or not. So that's the reason and the importance of requesting that hearing immediately. It will just stay the time period for them to suspend your driver's license. So I hope that helps. And remember, the first thing to do is to contact a good criminal defense lawyer. You can contact us. The number's on the screen. Look forward to hearing from you. If not, uh, stay tuned for our channels. And thanks for watching. Bye.